A treacherous night ahead for Florida as darkness begins to fall and Hurricane Ian continues its catastrophic rampage. One of the strongest September hurricanes to strike the U.S. in decades. Already tonight, catastrophic damage. Blasting ashore near Cayo Costa, its fierce wind spinning at nearly 150 miles an hour. A major Category 4 storm now tied for the fifth strongest hurricane in U.S. history. So, so unless you have all the money in the world or, or you're lucky enough to have a boathouse, you're outdoors, so this is where we are. So to give you a perspective, the, the storm was coming from that direction. So everything was moving this way. And you can feel that on a nice calm day here, there's pretty strong wind. There's a reason all these racks are empty. Boats were absolutely destroyed. Uh, and what's amazing is that in just three or four weeks, they've rebuilt most of these six by six rack systems. As of right now, what I'm seeing, rowable boats, there is one rowable boat still left here on the rack. And that's why finish line's here. We're here bringing brand new boats, not brand new, new to them, boats down here for them to get set up and get these people back up on, on uh, in, in the water. Now, behind the camera, you turn around and see, they have a new shed. Sandra is a force. She, her, and these, these folks here at Cape Coral have done everything they could to get back on the water. So we're going to be taking a nice tour uh, of the waterways. You can see the devastation. Um, it's hard to put it in, in, describe it. You can't really see it on camera. There's really not much left. Trees are torn down, still haven't gone. The dock, the dock system is completely gone. Uh, so we're going to do a little tour. And in a couple hours, the kids are going to come in here. We're going to talk to them and just see how they persevere through all these crazy devastations. I'm Alex Delso with Rowers Choice and Sandra Weston, the yes. president, the million hats that you wear here at Cape Coral. Uh, we know each other a little bit now, like mm -hmm. a year and a half. Yep. And when your program was decimated, you texted yes. me two days later and yes. said, I need some help. Yes. Well, Finish Line, we're really excited about this. Finish Line um, has provided a lot of boats for your program. Yes. And we are here today delivering, learning about the team, learning about what is going on down here at Cape Coral, and then hoping that with some work between the two of us that we're going to get this program to grow yes. and to change. I'm so so this is it. We, this is why we're here. I'm yes. so excited for we're this. We're so grateful. We're so excited. The kids are so excited. I sent them out I for a run, them. but they were so like, we don't want to go run. We want to look at these boats. <laughs> and you know, we didn't, we talked about what you needed, right? And, yes. and uh, Finish Line, we're very proud of this. Finish Line uh, found what you needed at, at just the right price. Yes. And we did a lot of donations and support here for you. Yes. And I loved it when I had no idea, but your colors are yes. red and yellow. Yes. And ironically, three of those boats are <laughs> yellow and red. Yes. And I heard the parents I know. really excited about I know. the red it's boats. Awesome. Right? We're so looking forward to it. We are. And now for the rest of this video, we're going to be diving in and you're going to be learning a lot about Cape Coral, what Sandra has done here for the last several years of the program. I hope you enjoy. So, all right, Sandra, we just got into this incredible launch. Uh, I thought that we were going to have a party. I mean, I feel like we're going to go out for some cocktails. But you have a canal behind the water system. So you're, the boathouse is right behind us. Yes. You have this incredibly peaceful spot. This is yes. like perfect for novices and yes. singles. I mean, I yes. couldn't, you can't beat it. 
But now we're having this little narrow turn. You yep. have no problem getting eights around here. This just doesn't seem like a lot of space. It's good Cox training. I mean, obviously I'm going to have to ask the city to move this tree that has That down, fell down, right? And, yep, right in front of us here, yeah. But short of that, we'll be fine. Um, we, when we rode in the south spreader, there are tons of elbow turns. We probably had nine. Nine? Nine elbow turns okay. on our normal, um, you know, uh, after school 6K. Wow. On Saturdays, I would take the kids out past those nine elbow turns because our prior waterway had a nice long straight, and I'd make them do back-to-back -back 2Ks. Now, talk to you about this waterway here. This looks about three boats wide, mm -hmm. maybe four boats wide. It looks pretty comfortable, really calm water. Yes. Um, this, okay, forget about that you don't have a boathouse, that right. sucks, but this is amazing water. Yes. Is this pretty yes. consistent? Like, every day you get this kind of yes. water? Yes, it is. Um, it's marginally tidal. Because okay. to the south of us, we have um, a path out wow, to open look at water. This, this yeah. is incredible. It's marginally tidal, but we're right now we're on the long straight. It's about 18 or 1900 meters straight down. Yeah. And the far northern point of this straight is the park, which will be our eventual long term home. The new home. It's nice flat water, uh, it's speed controlled because there's manatees in it, there's rays in it. Oh, there's everything here. There's occasionally dolphins in it, right, because it's... Because you said that's that's the, the main ocean in that, in that direction. Yeah, like open main, water. Open water. Mm -hmm. This is a this is a coach's dream. <laughs> uh, like I, I, there's some of my dogs. <laughs> there's some dog over there. Uh, what's nice though is I, 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 got, I was not expecting this. I mean, most rowers, they come here, they can start visualizing themselves right. on this stretch of water. Right. And I would kill for this. Yeah. Now, what's this over here? This is. Is that more? No, that's another launch. What is that? Oh, that's a piece of my shed. <laughs> it's a piece of your shed. <laughs> yeah. And the camera over there. <laughs> you know, I feel Those like are I'm my on. Solar panels that were on it. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? It's uh, I'm taking a tour on the uh, river boat in uh, Disney, and then like Jaws is gonna come up and like destroy that. And there's, I mean, there's, it's real devastation. Yeah. This is no joke. Yeah. Well, when the hurricane came in, uh, one of the first things we believe happened was the dock, actually, which was uh, behind us right here. At the end of this boardwalk, we had an aluminum gangplank, and then we had a dock that paralleled the shoreline. And the water lifted up just about over the shore, and I believe the wind got underneath the dock. So the entire um, 10 by 48 dock got lifted out of the water, tumbled across this landmass into the waterway opposite. Along the way, the aluminum frame broke into a bunch of pieces and we lost several of the flotation pieces. Um, so that was a huge loss because we can't wet launch here. Our water's too deep and our shoreline's too steep. While the equipment, the biggest problem we had was our uh, shed, not this one that you see now, this is a replacement but we had a shed that was anchored, um, I'm going to say inadequately, but it's hard to anchor anything for the kind of storm that we suffered. The entire thing lifted up off the ground and then it tumbled through the fence. So the fence is broken on the west side from the, the shed actually going through it. And then it absolutely broke into a bunch of pieces like dropping a glass on a tile floor and all the contents in it were just scattered everywhere. So. We lost three boats just from that. They were all singles. And then we had um, different parts of the racking from the wind pull up and out. And we had boats stay in the rack and get twisted torsionally. So we lost all but four boats. All but four boats. Nice, good. Good rhythm. Okay. Yeah, we got the fastest sixth grader in the state. 